That is the Porsche 911 Dakar. And this is a frozen lake. And today I'm gonna tell you 10 things you didn't know about the Dakar. Uh, that's like my hundredth take, so whatever. Chris asks, will it drift? <laughs> will it drift? I think a better question is, will it not drift? Oh my God. I need two hands on the steering wheel. It is so predictable. You tell it to go somewhere and it just goes. I cannot imagine anything I would rather drive on this track than this car. Henrik wants to know, can it fit a stroller? You can actually spec this car with normal seats, not the bucket seats that's in this particular one, but with the normal sport seats with Isofix. So babies check. I mean, I have like a travel stroller that fits perfectly in the front of the Taycan. And that front is significantly smaller than this one. So, uh, yes, Henrik, you can fit a stroller. And I mean, if it doesn't fit in the front, you can chuck it on the roof. I don't know. MPG. That's not a question. Um, how can I get one? I'm not sure you can. Quanta costa. Hey Siri, what does quanta costa mean? As how much does it cost? So this car registered in Norway, including tax, is $325,000. Another life, I guess. Okay, Lars wants to know, how does it compare to the Serato? Well, I haven't driven the Serato, so I couldn't say. But if anyone at Lamborghini watches this video and wants me to test the Serato, my inbox is wide open and also completely empty. And now to the most important question so far. Is it photo friendly? I'll let you be the judge of that.
I mean, this is a bold car to make, to be honest. Uh, the 911 isn't something you immediately would associate with going off-road, but Porsche is bold. Oh my God, it's slippery. Does it feel more like a vintage rally car or a modern SUV? It doesn't feel like any of them. It's kind of the best of both worlds, to be honest. It's more than powerful enough. It doesn't handle just as good as a normal 911 because it's higher. It does actually handle the bumps and the unevenness surprisingly good. It is a 911, it is fairly stiff, but it's not as stiff as many of the other cars. I'm quite surprised on how good it handles the, the bumps and stuff. And I mean, on roads like this, this is where the, that car really shines. Twisty, snow-covered roads. This is like, it's made for this car. <laughs> Can you see I'm having fun? Matilde wants to know, Dakar or GT3 RS? That's a really tough question. And the answer is both. But if I had to pick, I mean, today, obviously, it would be the Dakar because we're on an ice lake. But then summer comes along, track days, GT3 RS, oh my God. The GT3 RS is special, but I do think there's a car that's literally like the Dakar and the GT3 RS had a baby. And if you think you know what I'm talking about, leave it in the comments. Um, I have a theory about that car. I'll, I'll save that for a, for a later video. I'm crossing my fingers to get the chance to test my theory one day. But that day is not today, because today we're driving the Dakar. I mean, is that it? Is that it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I guess that's it. Ciao.